the December NSDA public forum topic is resolved. On balance, standardized testing is beneficial to K-12 education in the United States. This is kind of a better version of the May 2015 NCFL Grand National Tournament topic. There's a slight advantage to the con side in terms of just offense versus defense in arguments and in lit skew, but it's definitely more balanced than the September topic or the November topic in terms of relative strength of sides here. So let's start with the wording as usual. On balance prevents Khan from simply defending less standardized testing, and it forces both teams to look at the harms versus the benefits of the status quo. So you can't just say, well, sure, standardized testing could be good if there was less of it done. We're talking about what's happening right now. So if Khan says, Less standardized testing would be a more optimal balance. It does not change whether this balance is good or bad. And really the situation that this might develop into in a debate for two competent teams is the pro team might prove for a fact that standardized testing as it exists right now at the current level of testing is far from optimal, but that it is still slightly better than no testing. Whereas Khan is able to prove that if we had half as many tests, we would have half as many harms and twice as many benefits, but that wouldn't necessarily change the fact of whether or not the status quo is beneficial on balance, so much as whether something else might be even more beneficial, but that's not what is being asked. So on the one hand, Pro wants to use this to try and push it into a, do we have this as an option or not? Is this a tool in our toolbox or not? Com wants to use it in terms of, well, when we're looking at this balance, we need to look at it compared to another potential balance. We want to be able to say, okay, if there was less testing available, would this be better or worse? And if everybody's saying we should have less, then we can prove the current balance is bad, while Pro says, no, no, no. Even if you prove that a balance with less testing is ideal, you still aren't proving the current harms outweigh the current benefits. So that's where the clash occurs on that. Standardized testing is talking about the act. It might be talking about the companies. It might be talking about the results. It might just be talking about the tests themselves. It is open to interpretation, but it's hard to limit out arguments if the other side has an internal link to the tests themselves. I'd probably err on the side of inclusion here. This isn't one of the terms that we need to worry about overly broadening the topic. Is beneficial is in the present tense. This means we're talking about current tests that are being used. Arguments that tests can be fixed, that we could use these tests to take actions that we are not currently taking, or that old tests were bad or old tests were harmful, aren't something that you can actually use in a strict reading of the resolution. This is going to be a portion of the wording that Khan focuses on more than pro generally, because they're going to argue that even if there are benefits that can be gained from tests, the current usage of them is harmful, and that's all that we need to prove right now. But it says, is beneficial to K-12 education? And again, it's talking about a system, a process. Does that mean beneficial to the students? Does that mean beneficial to the schools, beneficial to the goals? Defining what goals education has and how you can determine whether or not something is beneficial to K-12 education is going to be a fairly big part of this for both teams. That's what decides which impacts can be weighed in this round and how heavily. It then says in the United States. Now, in the United States only appears once. It modifies K-12 education. It does not modify standardized testing. So pretty much impacts have to be topical, links less so. So standardized testing outside of the United States could be beneficial or harmful to K-12 education in the United States. Standardized testing for college students, for grad students, for teacher certification could be beneficial or harmful to K-12 education in the United States. So where in the United States appears in the resolution functionally broadens it. 
it just limits the impact to education in the U.S. The big clash on this topic here is between data-driven education and educator flexibility. Those are the big concepts that sources for both sides are probably going to be arguing, with most others being able to be co-opted by either side. The trouble with weighing harms versus benefits on balance here is that we know what benefits